Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the President of the United States of America, His Excellency Mr. Donald Trump, and President of the Socialist Republic of Vietnam, His Excellency Mr. Chen Dai Quang. Bilateral relations, and we discussed ways and means to further. We will also discuss the growing threat from North Korea. As I said in my speech to the Republic of Korea's National Assembly, all responsible nations must act now to ensure that North Korea's rogue regime stops threatening the world with unthinkable loss of life. Safety and security are goals that should unite all civilized nations. We want progress, not provocation. I mean, we, we have been provoked. The world has been provoked. We don't want that. Resources to development and expanding people to people exchange. Trying very hard to be friends with Kim Jong Un. Is that really a possibility? Uh, what would it take for that to happen at this point? And for President Kwan, could you comment on the President's offer to mediate the South China Sea dispute? Thank you. Steve, I think anything's a possibility. Strange things happen in life. That might be a strange thing to happen. But it's certainly a possibility. If that did happen, it would be a good thing for, I can tell you, for North Korea. But it would also be good for lots of other places, and it would be good for the world. So uh, I, certainly it is something that could happen. I don't know that it will, but it would be very, very nice if it did. United States to deliver his remarks. The United States is committed to a free and open Indo-Pacific where strong, independent nations respect each other's sovereignty, uphold the rule of law, and advance responsible commerce. We want our partners in the Indo-Pacific to be proud and self-reliant, not proxies or satellites. We look forward to achieving a bilateral trade agreement with partners who abide by the principles of fair and reciprocal trade. Two very important words, fair and reciprocal. It hasn't been that way for the United States, almost at all. And we're changing that, and we're changing it rapidly. The President Chen Dai Guang to deliver his remarks. In accordance with international law, including the 1980s, we both share the views that the bilateral relations have scored. 